I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand broadly the end behavior of rational functions. When I say end behavior, what do I mean? Let's understand that part first. End behavior means what? End behavior means what happens to the value of the function as x approaches negative infinity and when x approaches positive infinity. That is what we are trying to say. So end behavior is when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches what? That is what we want to know. When x approaches positive infinity, y approaches what? This definition is the base for end behavior. So we'll take few examples. With that, things will be absolutely clear. Let us take the example of 1 over x. For example, you know, 1 over x is our parent function, parent reciprocal function, right? So it could be, as you've seen, the graph of this function is kind of like this. So what we observe here is that as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches, so this is x for us and this is y, f of x, correct? y approaches 0, right? It becomes closer and closer to x, x, y approaches 0. And as x approaches positive infinity, y again approaches 0. So that is the end behavior of 1 over x. Now if y approaches a fixed value, in that case we say that there is a horizontal asymptote. So there is a horizontal asymptote. So what is horizontal asymptote? Horizontal asymptote is the value which function approaches, but it is never there. You get the point. So we are approaching zero, but we are never there, right? When x approaches infinitely large value, positive or negative, correct? So a function may have asymptote on one side, or it could have on both sides, and it could even have different asymptotes, okay? So we have horizontal asymptote. And the value of the function approaches, we say y equals to 0, is horizontal asymptote. So that is how we understand horizontal asymptote. So we have another term in our terminology that is horizontal asymptote. Now this horizontal asymptote could change if we transform our function, correct? So if I just transform my function, and now let us consider a function 1 over x, let us say minus 1. In that case, what happens? In that case, the whole function comes one unit down, correct? So when it comes one unit down, then the value, then the graph of the function could be could be like this, right? So we are not worried about the in-between values. We are just trying to understand the concept here. Now in this case, what happens? In this case, as you can see, as x approaches negative infinity, y is approaching minus 1. y approaches minus 1. As x approaches positive infinity, y again approaches minus 1. We say horizontal asymptote is y equals to minus 1. So that is what the end behavior for this particular case is. Right? Now we'll take another example. There could be so many different situations. So, so, so depending on situation to situation, we can have many different examples. If I take a function, let us say now f of x is equal to, let us say 2x minus 1 over, let's say 3x plus 2. Now in this particular case, I am not sketching this time, but we will do algebraically. How to find the end behavior? That's the beauty, right? So we'll find the end behavior for this particular case. So what we are trying to say is, what happens when x approaches large value? So we can rewrite this function as equal to, uh, we'll factor out x. So if I factor out x, I get x outside. I get 2 minus 1 over x, correct? And then here I could get x outside. And we get 3 plus 2 over x. Now if x is approaching a large value, infinitely large, we say absolute x, whether it is large, negative, or positive, then 1 over x will be 0, right? So in that case, 1 over x, I mean, I mean absolute value, will approach 0. Is that okay? 
Therefore, we could write f of x in this case will be these values will be 0 and x and x can cancel out. So we say this is approaching 2 over 3. Do you see that? 2x over 3x. Let me write this as first 2x over 3x. x and x cancel. So it is approaching 2 over 3. Do you see that? Approaching. We say like this. So what we find here is that the horizontal asymptote in this case is y equals to 2 over 3. That makes it very clear that it is never at 2 over 3. It is approaching. Do you get the idea? So what we notice here and in this example is that if the degree of denominator is higher, it is one higher than numerator. In that case, the asymptote is, is a value for, for the x part, right? 1 over x part is 0. And minus 1, it was translation. In this particular case, it is the ratio of leading coefficients, correct? That is how you could find the ratio for this. That was the transform function. We'll take one more example to further explore uh, the concept, right? Algebraic solution for, for asymptote. So we say, let us say now we take a function which is 2x square minus 1 divided by x plus 2. Now we'll follow the same steps. We'll say, well, let us take x common. Okay, if I take x common, then what happened? If I take x common, uh, I'm just taking x common since we have x in the denominator. So we will cancel out the x. We have 2x minus 1 over x in the numerator. In the denominator, if I take x common, I get 1 plus 2 over x. Correct? x and x cancel out. So we get 2x over 1 if x is approaching infinitely, absolute value of x approaching infinitely large. If x is approaching large, we say that f of x is approaching infinity, right? So in that case, no horizontal asymptote, no horizontal asymptote, right? So it is not approaching a fixed value, but in this case, x approaches infinitely large value, correct? So, so in this particular case, as you can see, uh, we are not approaching a particular value. So that is the kind of end behavior a rational function could have. So rational function could approach a value or it may not. If it is approaching a value, then we say a horizontal asymptote exists. Now here are a few practice questions for you. First one for you is 1 over x minus 2. Let us say y equals to this. And then we have y equals to 2x minus 1 over x plus 3. And then we have y equals to 2 minus 3x over 4 plus plus x, right? Okay, and then we have y equals to 2x square minus 1 over x plus 1. What you need to do is find horizontal asymptotes for these particular rational functions, correct? And then you can check with my solution, which I have similar questions in this playlist. You can check with those. But I hope the concept is clear to you. Thank you and all the best.